Making his way to the ring from Manchester, United Kingdom. Standing at 6 foot and 1 inch tall, weighing 225 pounds, Sin Rage. I'm probably going to have to say being accompanied by one of his family members, but we're going to have to see. Yep. Apparently, he is being accompanied by Rosalind. And Annie, thank you for joining me. Always nice to have someone with me here at the table. And this is going to be interesting. I mean, ever since Sin lost the title, I don't know, he's been kind of vicious. Hey, there's the camera kitty. Hello, camera kitty. Alrighty. Hey, one advantage though, Annie. At least Rose has not joining on commentary. Typical for the rages again. Well, seems Sin is ready for it. Then again, let's see if his opponent is ready also. Making his way from San Antonio, Texas. Standing at 6 foot 4 inches tall, weighing 225 pounds, Vander Jackson. Um, no, I don't know. See, I haven't checked who the former champion was, any. There we go. Always nice for the people to know what we have down there in the ring. I'm pretty sure anyone wants to have a belt here, Any, Like, you know how it goes. They think, like, I'm good enough and I can have a belt. And then they come in the ring and they get their ass beat. <laughs> Alrighty, first match of the show. Just waiting for Elvis to ring the bell here. And then we can get the show rolling. Alright, let's see how this match is going to go. I mean, I'm curious. I mean, Sin, Fander, there are two big names out there. Just getting myself settled in here. But both guys starting with that lockup. 
this is going to be an interesting one. I mean, looking at like the tilt of the tape. Ooh. Vander's showing a bit of flexibility here. Hey, at least the fans are awake, that's what we want to have. Hungrier for the bell? I would say so, Annie. I mean, with Knight of Destiny coming up, those champions have a big target on their back. And of course, Sin, with that wild card out there, as you stated, Annie, I mean, you never know what's going to happen when you're facing a rage. I mean, before you know it, you have one suddenly standing behind you in the ring, or you get kissed by a rage and you lose your match. Ooh, same going technical. Well, that was a nice one from Vander. Using that leg area to take Sin down. There we go. Uh. We know Sin though, he's not going to give up that easily. Right back into that lockup. Both of them just testing to see what they have, what they can bring. And again, going with that technical. Fender showing what he has. So is it going to be enough to take down someone like Vander? Oh, nice dropkick to the face. Sin taking Vander down. Yep, that's what happens when you give that separation. So, looking at the tilt of the tape, though, Annie, on who would you put your money? Uh, Rosa cheering on her family member. Uh, Vander in the corner, this could not end up good for Vander. Sin likes to use that speed. Oh, nice elbow from Vander. Stopping Sin dead in his tracks. And now Vander's top row is a dangerous place to be in. Oh, nice! Vander trying to go for the flying clothesline as Sin just kicks him out of the air. Oh, uh, now we're gonna have Sin in the corner. This could get dangerous. You're right there. Oh, flying elbow drop connecting. Vander is going to feel that one in the morning. That was clean cut. But let's see what else Sin is going to do here to Vander. Oh, Vander not done yet. He's feeling that now. 
I'm gonna have to give that to you, Fanny. Fanny just coming back every single time, though, not letting Sid get some major offense going. Sin in the corner. Let's see what we're gonna get here. Oh, nice! Yeah, that nearly took the head off his neck. You gotta love it when those wrestlers put that anger and that frustration in the moves that they're doing right in the middle of that ring. Yeah, Sin doing a great job so far. But is it going to be enough? Ooh, snap suplex close to the ropes. The surprise of me, I've seen a lot of wrestlers in, in my wrestling career that came back from out of nowhere after taking like all the beatings and punches, they suddenly came back. Uh-oh, Fander turning his back on his opponent. Here we go. Oh, nice! Clothesline from Sin, sending Fander over the ropes. Flat on his back, that is not a place you want to be in. Not with Sin out there. Let's see in what kind of mood Elvis is today. God, just look at Sin. He's just waiting there, waiting his time. Here he comes. Oh, Sing diving through the ropes, Vander just kicks him, DDT, and down goes Sin. This is not good for Sin. Getting kicked out of the air, DDT'd on that concrete. Oh, Elf is on the count. Yeah, those mats don't really offer any protection. That's like one thing I learned from Scott so far. Always be careful when you fly around. You never know what you might hit. Then again, I mean, you want to give the people a show. Oh, smart of sin. Elf is at the four count, though. These guys might want to hurry it up. Oh, Sim being smart. Sliding back into the ring, getting that ten count restarted. Gives him just a little bit more time to play around with Fender. Up, uh, both back in a ring right now. That's where all the action happens. If you want to get that victory, you're going to have to do it in the middle of that ring. Anywhere to close to ropes, you know what's going to happen. Well, it could be any. I mean, if Sim really has the feeling that he's going to take this, then... Wait. Bender shouting to stop. Um, uh, why is Fender pointing up? Oh, come on, seriously. It's, it's, it, Sim really fell for that. That's just cheap tactics. <laughs> I agree. 
do with Rose on this? There's no timeouts. If you want to, like, slap someone in the face, yeah, it's the oldest trick in the book, but Vanna just shows that it still works. Both coming off the ropes. Wait, now Sin is screaming to stop? <laughs> Fender knows this trick, he just slaps him in the face. There we go, spinning back kicks. Yeah, don't try to steal a wrestler's move. It's not gonna work. They tend to go a bit low, but with Elvis in there. Oh, look at 300 monkey Solomon. <laughs> I love your things. Oh, swinging neck breaker. Mm, look at Rosa, though. Keep your eye on Rosa. moment she starts walking Elvis tried to steal your candy hey at least it wasn't Lagada yeah I gotta ask okay <laughs> uh, punches back and forth between these two Another spinning back kick. Up oh, there we go. Fander coming off the ropes. Hitting that move big. Yeah. Agree with you there, Solomon. Time to finish it, but let's see if Fander has what it takes to finish Sin off. Sim being tossed into the ropes. What's Fender gonna do here? Ooh, running a high knee. Fender's building the charge. Let's see if the lightning is gonna strike. Fender top ropes in pretty much middle of the ring. You know, when a wrestler like Vander goes top, it's going to be big. Flying clothesline. Oh, taking Sin down. Mm. Vander's calling for it. Yep, this is his chance, Annie. Mm, that's the question. Let's see if Vander has what it takes. Is Fender gonna make Sin right uh, the lightning? Or is Sin gonna have just a little bit left? Ooh, Fender going for right the lightning! Sin coming with that super kick! Taking Fender out of the air! God, that was beautiful! Sin just showing that he had just a little bit left. That could be. Right now, Sin standing though. Let's see what he has in store for Vander right here. Kick to the gut. Sin coming off the ropes. Oh, that was a spear with momentum behind it. Damn, that pretty much folded Vander in half. I think so too, Annie. 
Sing going top rope. We know what happens when he calls time to fly. Swanton bomb connects. There we go. All he has to do right now is go for the pin and grab that victory. That is, if Sin is done. You might want to do some more. Nope, going for a pin here. One, two. Oh my god, Fender kicks out! Oh! Fender kicking out of the Swanton Bomb! Sin is not gonna be happy with that. Hey, that's what it's all about these days. How, hung how hungry are you for the title? Uh, Age of Rage being called. Let's see how strong the Age of Rage is today. I mean, it has been kind of on the down low. If he hits this, no. There's not going to be any way that he's going to come back any. Unless he's like superhuman, but I don't know. Since saying time to sleep. Sing going with the full Nelson. Just look at him wrenching that in. Vander with a hip toss. Apparently, Vander isn't done yet. That must have been a move of desperation. Uh, he needs to keep on him, yeah. Oh, super kick from Fander straight in the mush. Hey, I never know any new champs are being made or broken in this ring right here, so. Oh, got Fander with a thumb down. Is it going to be enough this time? He may be talking too much this time, yeah. I mean, it's okay to cheer on the fans, but you want to make sure you time it right. Oh, Fanta trying to go for another right, the lightning. And Sin just knocks him out mid out with a spear. That has got to be it. Yep, definitely backfired for Vander there. Kick to the gut, Sim moving behind him. Full Nelson locked in. Sing calling for it. Oh, Sing connects. Skull crushing finale. Going for the pin here. One, two, and three. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Your winner by pinfall, Sin Rage. Well, 
Fender did a good job going for his finisher twice. It just wasn't enough in the end. It might have been any. It might have been that one destruction that that could have cost them. I'm since saying Knight of Destiny is his. It depends for which title he's gonna go. Also, he has to face me again. Well, both of them did an amazing job giving it their best. In the end, though, it was Sim walking away with the victory. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, that was just the first match of the evening. We're not done yet. We have, like, plenty more coming up. Alrighty. First match done. Let's see what production wants us to do next. Because we have a plenty more in store. Until then, make sure to uh, grab some of those tacos. I mean, we have like all sorts of stuff out here. Oh, what's that? And just keep the tacos away from Brody. <laughs> Lol. Oh, God. There we go. Ladies and gentlemen, apparently we're going to see a Damien Hex coming. You know what happens when a Hex steps into the ring? Up. You got to appreciate the Hexes though. Breaking the status quo by coming out through the fans. Cut the damn music! Woo! Damien doesn't sound happy. Cut the damn music! I don't freaking get it. I come here every single freaking week and fight my ass off to get my shot at the title at Night of Destiny. All Sing has to do is walk into this freaking ring and ask for one? I don't care who I have to come into this ring and beat till they're freaking bloody. I will get that title and I will Damn well make sure Sin and anybody else that gets in my way finds out firsthand who the alpha dog in this yard is. Cause it sure as hell ain't Sin. It ain't Broly. His ass is out the door. His wife fired him a couple of times. It ain't John Cross it. I beat his ass plenty of times. And it ain't Maven, because Maven got lucky. He got a cheap shot in. That's the only reason he won. I am going to Night of Destiny 3. And I am walking out with that damn title around my waist. And if anybody has a damn thing to say about it, step out here now. Because trust me, I'm in the mood to kick some ass. Mm -hmm. That's what I freaking thought. 
Hit my music, I'm out of this freaking jump. <laughs> you heard it, ladies and gentlemen. Damien doesn't sound happy with everything going on here. Then again, can't blame him. Yeah, it's not gonna be me. It'd be me either, any. Filing off. I would love to see that happen. Alrighty. Some big words from Damien to pretty much everyone out there. Alright, let us see what production has in store for us next. Because this is APW and the action here never stops. Alright, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I just got word from production that it is time for the ladies to hit the ring. You know what happens when the ladies hit the ring? The action is going to be even more intense. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, the following match is a tag team match and is scheduled for one fall. Making their way to the ring, standing at 5 foot and 6 inches tall from Serenity Valley, weighing 130 pounds, she is the Firefly Kaylee Carter, and with her, her tag team partner from Pendle Hill, UK, standing at 5 feet and 3 inches tall, weighing 130 pounds, Katie Carter. A.K.A. we're gonna have the Carter sisters. This might get interesting. I mean, from what I know, they joined forces several weeks ago. Yeah, it's always a lot more difficult when you have to face a team that is either family members or has been together for a long while. They, like, are played into each other. They know what to do. They have their moves ready. Alrighty, let's bring out their opponent making her way to the ring from Springfield, Tennessee, weighing 155 pounds, standing at 5 foot 7. She is the Black Panther, Rosalind Grace Rage. Hey, best thing is, if Rosa has that same fighting drive as Sin has, we're in for a wild one.
Ah, Rosa, Rosa, Rosa. Uh, you're right there, Annie. The Carter sisters do have the advantage coming out together, being that team that they are. But don't underestimate Rosa and Michelle, though. I mean, they have some skill. You never know what they prepped backstage. Alright, and her tag team partner making her way from Indianapolis, Indiana, standing at 5 foot and 10 inches tall, weighing 165 pounds, Michelle Snyder. See, it's nice to have you sitting here next to me, Annie. That way, I'm sure that my paperwork is in order. There we have her, Michelle Snyder, making her way uh, down the ramp. Oh, well, Michelle looks ready. But is she ready? Tag team action here at APW. Katie and Katie Carter versus Michelle Snyder and Rosalind Rage. This is going to be an interesting one. Yeah, you know how egos can be. Apparently, Michelle is going to start off against Katie. They're going to need it, I think. They're going to need to, like, take out every advantage they can get over the Carter sisters, Annie. Oh, Michelle is ready. Here we go. Let's uh, get this action underway. <laughs> Big punch to Katie's face. Michelle coming with some big punches towards Katie. Sorting out some paperwork. And just before you look away, 
All of a sudden, the ladies are outside doing the battle there. Uh, Elf is quick on the count. We know how it can go here. But Michelle in firm control so far. Ooh, elbow to that arm. Michelle has to be careful though that she's not going to stay out there too long. Uh oh. This is not looking good. Michelle picking Katie up. Love Newton, what comes up? Oh, must come down. Slamming Katie face first on the concrete. Yep, right on those steps. That is not going to feel nice. Michelle quickly sliding in and out to reset account. Great ring awareness by Michelle, that's for sure. But is it going to be enough to get the upper hand over the Carter sisters? Yep, both of them back in the ring. Now the action can get started. Oh, <laughs> the official action that happens in the ring. Michelle dragging Katie into the middle. Is she going to go for a pin here? Or does she have more plans? Oh, nice rolling knee drop. Michelle has a lot of pinned up frustration. Yeah, thanks so to Annie. I think Michelle doesn't care about the win. She just wants to hurt Katie. She just wants revenge, payback, whatever. She just wants to let it all out. Rebound head scissors. Katie finally getting some offense in. And that I must give you though. That I must give you any. If this is her making her mark, then she's doing a good job. Nice rebound leg drop. And the thing is, Kaylee has been working on Katie's anger issues, yet Michelle pretty much like punched the living shit out of out of Katie so far. But let's see what Katie is going to do here more. Because I'm pretty sure she wants payback right now. Okay. 
Katie going with that wrist lock still in firm control. Hey, if Katie keeps this up, she might get it up her hand back. She might get that advantage back. Oh, nice! DDT planting Michelle head first on the mat. But are we gonna see a tag here from Katie? Are we gonna say see Katie going ape shit on Michelle, or is Katie gonna continue to go after Michelle? Yep, you're right there, Annie. She's gonna give her sister a turn, and Michelle's gonna give Rosa a turn. There we have a Rosa versus Kaylee right now. There's that typical rage rake. I've started calling it a rage rake. I mean, all the rages do it these days. Oh, Katie taking some time to rest up again. Meanwhile, Rosa kicking Kaylee's ass. It's all the rage. <laughs> yes, Eddie, I'm saying it's all the rage to do a rage rake. Ooh, elbow drop to Eddie Graham. Try to feel. I think the fans definitely will try to feel. Meanwhile, let's see what Rosa is going to do here. Another Rage Rake! Ooh, Raging Hypertivity! Oh, kick to the face and down goes Kaylee! Yeah, I definitely think that rang a bell, Annie. I'll, if not, Kaylee is gonna be seeing stars. And won't be on a title belt around her waist. Ah, uh, Rosa getting exhausted though from um, doing all this to Kaylee. Then again, can you blame her? Ooh. Rebound, Firefly, hat, scissors, and down goes Rosa. Kaylee back up on her feet. Yep, now she needs to capitalize. Now she needs to keep going for it. She can do that. She can do a whole lot of damage. Basement drop kick to the back of Rosa's head. Kaylee coming off the ropes here. Rolling Thunder connects! She is... Yeah, momentum is definitely in Kaylee, Kaylee's favor, Annie. Ooh, moon Salt! Yep, that will definitely flatten her a bit. Well, let's hope she's gonna continue the assault. I mean, if the Carter sisters want to win this match, they're gonna have to pull out everything they have.
Mm, Kaylee going for the pin here. One, two. No, just a two count. Rosa not giving up yet. She ain't done giving up yet. She has a lot more in store. But is she going to be able to pull that out? Or are we going to see Kaylee staying in control? Kaylee picking Rose up. But what? Is Kaylee having in mind? What does she want to do? Ooh. That looked pretty low. It's a nice move. I mean, Rosa took back control, but still looks pretty low. And you're right there, Annie. Now is where they have to show what makes a top tag team, a top tag team work together. Kaylee paid for it. If you take too much time, you give your opponent a reason to capitalize. Let's see what Rosa's going to do here. Rosa picking Kaylee up. Rosa coming off the ropes. Oh, famous, sir. And down goes Kaylee. But is Rosa going to go for the pin, or are we going to see some more stuff coming from her? It would be a great time to get a tag, Annie, but it is Rosa. She is a rage. You know how much they love being in the spotlight. Ooh, <laughs> there we go, Rosa stomping the living shit out of Kaylee. But I must agree with you, we haven't seen much of Michelle. Uh, that's a dangerous thing to do. Rosa sending Kaylee in the corner, but it's on that side where Katie is standing. Rosa with those kicks, those limber legs. Let's see what Rosa is going to do more here. Is taking preemptive measurements. Oh, there we go, Rosa going with that choke. Just look at Kaylee's head bend. This is not looking good. Yeah, lifting her right up with that foot, too. Takes a lot of power in your legs to lift someone up, even just a little bit. Ah, uh, just continuing to choke her. Uh, Elvis right on it. Kaylee going with that drop toe hold, knocking Rosa face first into that turnbuckle. 
Are we going to see a tag? Is Katie going to tag? Yep, there we go. Kaylee with the tag, and now we have Katie in the ring. And yeah, Katie took Michelle down at the same time. Like, nope, you're not gonna tag your your partner. But with Katie in the ring right now, what is she having planned for Rosa? Katie just stalking Rosa right now, just waiting patiently, just waiting for the time to strike. Oh, come on, you gotta have to pick her up by the hair. You gotta love the ref though, Annie. I mean, they always come with the perfect solutions. I mean, do you really want to drop the hair? I mean, how about let's not? <laughs> It's just like the NFL if you have hair hanging out, it's on you. <laughs> I, um, I think I don't want to know about that any. Katie lifting Rose up here. What is Katie going to do? Oh, Russian leg sweep. Oh, she dropped the hair. You can grab someone's hair and tickle them and it's legal. Oh my god. Yes. Uh oh, look at Katie. Oh, shot block to the knee. Taking Rosa down. Yeah, if you have long hair sticking out, then someone is bent to grab it. Thank God for me wearing my hat. Oh, look at Katie. Oh, leg stretcher. Yeah, that is not going to feel good for Rosa. Katie's staying close to Rosa, though. That's a smart thing to do. Let's see what else Katie has in store for Rosa. Katie sending Rosa to the corner. What's Katie gonna do here? What kind of vicious move is she planning? I mean, knowing Katie, she wants to do as much damage as she can. Coming up, oh, running high knee into that Enziguri. 
Bam, and down goes Rosa. Fans calling for it, but Katie tagging in her sister. We're gonna see. Are we going to see a bit of tag team action here? Yeah, I agree with you on that, Annie. With a six-sided ring, there are more neutral corners to do things in. Though, it also might be a downside. Uh, Backflip into a Bronco Buster. Kaylee is just pounding that head of Rosa into a turnbuckle. Oh, she still looks a little winded. Haven't seen much of Michelle so far. Yeah, they might have something in store. Katie back in the ring. Ooh, basement drop kick. Hey, yeah, quick tags are very smart. You can stay fresh, catch up again, confuse your opponent a little. Katie picking Rose up. Elvis is still on the lookout. Katie with that front face lock. Let's see what she's going to do to Rosa, dragging her to the middle. Ooh. Rosa just kicks off from the ground, punching Katie down. Making that quick tag to Michelle. She needed that. She needed that tag. Who standing sent on Michelle is ready and primed. She wants to do a lot more damage. There we go, Michelle, with those punches, those slaps, chops across the chest. As uh, gonna make the boobies hurt. Uh, look at Michelle, look at Michelle running turnbuckle thrust. Michelle is giving Katie a beatdown. Short arm clothesline. It's like, nope, go down. Irish whip. Oh, ho, 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 ho. that clothesline made Katie flip up, down, and over. Whew. Yeah, Michelle's definitely the freshest person in the match. Oh, elbow drop to that knee. What is Michelle going to do here? She's going to go for the tag here. Is it going to be enough? One, two, no, just a two count.
God, just think about it, Annie. If Michelle would have pulled a victory over the Carter sisters, that would edge their name into history as a tag team. Oh, face breaker from Katie. You might want to call that a desperation move. Yep. John with the ref is not a good thing to do. Seriously, if the ref says it's a two, then it's a two. Just accept that. Has no use arguing with the ref because hey, you're gonna get your ass kicked. Oh, knee to the gut, knee to the head. Katie coming with those knees. This might not be good for Michelle. Katie coming up the ropes. Hang time. Oh, Michelle counting it into a white knuckle skull cave. That was picture perfect smooth. God, if we had a replay. I would love to watch it. There we go, Michelle with the tag. Rosa going back into the ring. Michelle making quick work of Kaylee. Are we gonna see some more Age of Rage coming from Rosa? Yeah, they are working well together. They have made some good agreements. Kick to the gut. Yeah, Rosa definitely needs to capitalize on this. This is a great opportunity she has. Ooh, 155 pounds of crazy. Rosa wrenching it in. Are we gonna see? Yep, there's the flying dragon. Are we gonna see Katie tap out, pass out, or is she gonna be able to do something about this? I mean, it looks like Katie's still down and out. Uh, Katie down, more well, Katie down on all fours. Uh, let's see if Katie has what it takes though to tap out of this. I mean, Katie's slowing, slowly coming back up on her feet again. Yeah, Katie is up. But is it going to be, does Kaylee have enough time to do something about this? I mean, Kaylee looks pretty much out of this. I mean, Elf is checking to see if she's not KO. Wait a sec, do I see... Did I see Katie tap? Yep. Katie tapped. Oh my god. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner by submission, the team of Rosalind Grace, Rage, and Michelle Snyder. Ooh, the Carter sisters are not going to be happy with that.
Um, was that song saying at all? This is definitely a match that she will be remembered by. Both her and Michelle did an amazing job pulling a victory over the Carter sisters. Yep, yeah. I think indeed it is time for a little shout out to our sponsors because hey, we here at APW cannot do this just by ourselves. Sponsors are always nice for that, so let me look for my notes. That's notes, notes. Ah, there they are. Alrighty. Tyra's The Nova interviews. Do you want to learn more about your favorite wrestler? Then go to the link that my wonderful assistant will put into local. Because that is the place to go. A weekly updating blog with a new wrestler being interviewed. Over 40 interviews already with tons of veterans in SL Wrestling. TiresDenova.blogspot.com is the place to be. Up next we have a Big Baby Get Like Me Animations. Do you ever want to fill the pan with a little something extra? Something to boost your appetite and custom needs for your movesets? Then contact Derek Colt or come down to Big Baby Get Like Me Animations for the best in Japanese MMA and old school moves. So if you want the best in animations, just get like me. And we have uh, Black Heart Designs. Black Heart Designs is a subdivision of Enchanted Visions Photography, concentrating on painting cars and bikes as well as creating logos for SL wrestlers. As well as now venturing into photography and profile pictures. Contact Broly Yakubu for more information. Enchanted Visions Photography. I want to capture that special moment forever. At Enchanted Visions, they bring you good quality photos for affordable prices. For more information, please contact Sky Sharple or Aurora Flinders. And of course, we have our banners here at the wall of the arena. Make sure that, or wait, do we still have them? No, we don't have them anymore. <gasps> oh, that's right. See, I thought we still had the old banners, but I believe I heard some whispers backstage about new ones coming up. Coming up. Hey, <laughs> look at that, Annie. I thought the banners were still there. I might, I, I, I'm not even drunk yet. Hell, I haven't been out for like two weeks. The donation meter is still there, though, because we love being here for you fans. We love doing these shows for you fans, but those donations make it a little easier to be here for you all. So if you can spare anything, then please make a donation. And if I am looking correctly, we have those wrestling fan gestures out there. So if you don't have any cheers or jeers yet, then you can get them right there. Yep, every little bit helps. And what else we have? Of course, we have our Lagada Loca candy machine. And our tacos. And a lot more coming up. I mean, there's a lot of stuff in the works that you will find out yourself if you keep an eye on the Facebook page. Yep, Facebook board. You definitely want to make sure that if you have a Facebook account that 
you keep an eye out on the Facebook page because that is where you get first shot at the action. And did I forget anything else, Any? Don't think so. Not sure. No. I think I got it all. Alright, let's see of what we have coming up next. It's not main event time, though. It's not yet main event time, any. Oh, I know they can be louder. Alrighty, so, so far, we saw Sim Rage going up against Vander Jackson. That was an awesome opening match. We aren't charging 999, nope. <laughs> we aren't charging 999 here. This stuff is all for free. I have to take a drink now and then. 958 for the APW network. <laughs> Solomon! <laughs> he is funny. Now, so far we saw Sim Rage going up against Vander Jackson. That was an awesome opening match. Sin taking uh, that victory. And we just saw that awesome, awesome tag team where. Rosa and Michelle took the victory over the Carter sisters. Yeah, you gotta love the action here at APW. But we're not done yet. We've got plenty more in store for you. Though you know how it is. Wrestlers getting ready. Yay! Yeah, the action never stops here at APW. Solomon, you know how it goes. We just have to see what production has in store for us. And of course, Night of Destiny is coming up. I believe that was somewhere in March. So you might want to keep your agenda clear for that because that is going to be one epic show. I mean... Everyone is prepping for it. Everyone is gunning for the champions. I mean, you heard Damien come out and just do his rant over the fact that he wants to put his name in there. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it also. But then again, that's because well, apparently I have a title match. <laughs> March 28th? Oh, there you go. See? See, Solomon, you know even more than I do. That's what you get when you're, like, in the gym 24-7. God, living in Nash Vegas and not even haven't had the time to, like, go out and drink a beer and have some fun. Oh, you read the wiki. <laughs> ah, Solomon. If I could head desk right now, I would do so. But then again, we still have a lot coming up, so I, mean, I kind of need to be head clear for that. I'll do it after the show. After the show, I will head desk. Because they pay me my Hawks endings. Yep, Hawks endings, 22nd of this month with a special show the day before, so you definitely want to keep your eyes, your eye on that. Mm. Mm. Oh. Yeah, this is definitely a who. Want to make sure that Hawks gets all the attention it needs. I 
I mean, come on, you gotta love, well, at least as a guy, you gotta love all female fed. I mean, yeah, we have some nice action here, but that's the days where you can take a break and just sit back with a beer, and just enjoy the hair pulling and the eye rakes and all that stuff. Alrighty, let's check with production what we have coming up next. Oh, I see lights. I hear music. Oh, that was, that would, I would have loved to have seen a concert of you, Annie. Who is it? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, the Mave Machine. I mean, we all know it's Professor X. <laughs> we all know that YouTube is acting like a giant ass again. So some people had to take a new song, but that's okay. Maven a gothly out here. And Broly Blackheart. Oh god. Catches the wheelchair. I would say let it roll. Yeah, let the good times roll. <laughs> oh, let's see what Maven has to say here. Or what Brody has to say. Well, you see, I'm not exactly happy about what I've done, as obviously you can see Brawly's kind of in a wheelchair. But, you know, business is business, right? And I... And earlier this week, I sent a little, uh, little message and some forms to our boss here at APW, and I said, I'm not going to do this for anything... I'm not going to do this just for the $500,000 bounty. I said, I have to have a couple of things. And those two things I asked for were, for, were um, what did I ask for? An ironclad contract and a title shot. That's exactly what I wanted if I was going to do this. So I sent to the forms, and I hope they're signed because I did the dirty deed. She said they were signed. So, Aurora, whenever you, whenever you get your butt back there, I need, I want you out here, and I want to see those signed forms. Well, all the boss, and that's what you got. Yeah, it's true. She put that bounty on Broly. 500,000 for the one who was able to take him out.
Yep, here comes the boss lady. See what the boss lady has to say. So, where are the forms? saying the forms are signed as promised and the money has been wired to your account God. well that's good you know I've been playing this game for a long time and I've learned a few things over the years you know I've heard a lot of people in the past and I have a lot of experience I also have a lot of experience with uh, doing other things Shall I mention, uh, well, people already know about that. But since the forms are signed and the money is transferred, I think it's time we lift the veil off of your eyes. Don't you think, Brawley? just two weeks ago that Maven dragged Brody with him behind his bike. I got what I wanted, Brawley. Have fun with this one. Uh, Brody is out of his wheelchair. And he's standing behind Aurora. It's a miracle. <laughs> This is not looking good for Aurora. These two have been going at it for months now. Man, I want to turn around, Aurora. Oh, this is not going to be good. This might get ugly. Hey, as Maven said, he has his ironclad contact. He ha contract. He has that five hundred thousand. What is Brody gonna get? And the title shot. Thank you, Maven. Forgot about that. Might want to be careful though, I mean, with Damien out there. But what is Brody going to do here? <sighs> oi, yoy, yoy. Super kick to the face! I don't have the gesture, but this is a perfect moment to say she got knocked the fuck out! I'm gonna kick you in the spleen! Yeah, but something like that, Annie. Just a little higher. Yeah, closest one you had. <laughs> it's better than nothing. Holy shit. Well, you must admit, though, Aurora deserved that. Thank you, Solomon. I mean, putting a $500,000 bounty on Broly for anyone who knocks him out. And you kicked her into the Negazone. 
Job well done, Broly. For months has she been messing with my life. Oh, what does that mean for the money? I'm buying back half of APW. The half that I need. I must congratulate Broly, he played his cards really, really well. Broly using that money to pay back, uh, to get back a half of APW. Aurora is not gonna be happy with this. But then again, Broly is the APW Everywhere Champion for a reason. And now he owns half of APW again. Yep. That's gonna be fun. Oh, there you have it. Maven happy, Broly happy, Aurora, yeah, probably not so happy. But the question is, how is this going to lead up to Night of Destiny 3? What are, what other things are we going to see? I mean, do we have like a clear opponent for Broly? I mean, there's like a lot of people getting for his title. Now with Maven having a title shot also. This might get interesting. According to my paperwork, that means the same Annie. I think it is time for the main event though. Let's see what production has to say about that. And he's pulling out all the stops, all the party poppers. Alright, production. It is, is it time for the main event? Or do you have more surprises in store for us? Because you never know. You never know here at APW what you can expect. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, it is Super Taco Time. Which means free tacos. And Broly is paying. And if you don't like tacos, then nachos. With cheese. And if you don't like that, then Maven is paying Kentucky. And if you don't like Kentucky, then... Well, you can poke Derek out for cornbread. Oh! There's lights! There's music! I know who this is! You'll find a hot dog vendor Solomon. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I know this person very well! From Lynn, Massachusetts, so standing at six foot and four inches tall, weighing to 148 pounds. He is your APW No Limits Champion, Scott Hags. I'm so, so gonna have to steal Scottish song one day. Uh, this is Damien's brother, but this is like the good side of the family. 
Well, at least in my eyes. Damien is more like the black sheep. I'll definitely watch from here, Scott. Uh, hey, as I said, Annie, Scott, Scott is pretty much mentoring me. That dude is amazing. I mean, the things he has showed me. Thank you for tossing in the tail of the tape. Oh, Scott handing his belt to Elvis. Oh, there we go, ladies and gentlemen, making his way to the ring. Scott's opponent for our main event. From uh, Mellow, Ireland, uh, standing at 6 foot and 4 inches tall, weighing 245 pounds, he is the Irish warrior, Caleb O'Donnell. Uh, Caleb? Anywhere? His music is playing, his lights were going, but no Caleb. Uh, Scott, you think Damien is responsible for this? A shot of whiskey, <laughs> that's a good one, Annie. Ah, uh, Scott grabbing a mic, there's lights. I have no idea, Annie. Is this APW? Can anybody tell me what the hell is going on here? Oh, if I okay, knew, maybe stars. I'm gonna get my answer now. Well, ask your brother. Are you fucking kidding me? Uh, Scott, you might want to look behind you. Like, fast. Oh. Damien, you jackass! <sighs> yep, sneak attack on the champ. is ringing the bell so I have a feeling our main event is gonna be Scott versus Damien yeah I'm definitely gonna have to take Scott for a beer after this with the state of mind Damien was in this might not be pretty
Ah, Damien picking Scott up here. Um, I have no idea who sanctioned this, any, but if you want, you can go in there and stop them. Yeah, I think you would totally beat their asses, Annie. I mean, it might be too dangerous for them to let you go in there. Just look at those punches going back and forth. Holy shit. Yeah, I have a feeling, Elvis, that that is not going to help much. I mean, Damien needs to get that anger out of his system. With Scott, hey, you don't strike a champion from the back of his head. Oh, uh, there we go. Damien going up, and Damien going down. Got with those palms to Damien. Well, I hope that Damien is rethinking the sneak attack that he did on, on Scott Annie. I really hope so. I mean, anger is like the worst thing to have when you go into a wrestling ring. Makes you on focus, makes you forget a lot of things. Makes you do things you don't want to do. And it's bad for your heart. Yep. Then again, wrestling isn't really good for your body or your health either, Annie. I mean, you are putting your body on the line every single time you go into that ring. Scott sending Damien into the corner. Ooh, running high knee. That flipped Damien up over down inside out. Yeah, I and mean, it, it, it will be a shame to see such a cute face to get beaten up. Well, here comes Scott. Basement drop kick. Scott, don't go pulling anything out of my book. That's not what we agreed on. Okay, Scott dragging Damien to the middle here. Oh, figure four middle of the ring. Ooh, that is not good for Damien. First head meets turnbuckle. Now Damien's going to be in a lot of pain. Shades of helping Chris. Hey, that's what you get for punching your brother in the back of the head. Damien must ring up all that anger and strength to turn it around. Nice. Yeah, seriously, this is gonna be a fight, Annie. With these two going at it. Hell, I'm surprised that Damien isn't gunning for his British title. See, that was smart, though, from Scott. He might be laying down, but that doesn't mean he cannot kick. And just stomping Scott into the mat.
Damien on top. Top turnbuckle. What's he going to do here? Flying elbow drop connect. Today's word of the day is douchebag. The definition of douchebag is Douche someone who acts like they know everything under the sun, but when it comes down to it, they don't know their ass from a hole in the ground. <laughs> Thank you, Solomon, for that wise piece of information. Damien behind Scott going for that sleeper hold. Is that going to be enough, though, to take Scott down? I mean, Scott is a big guy. It takes a lot to take a big guy down with a sleeper hold. Um, no choke, apparently, the Elvis. He's right in there making sure that Damien is doing this the right way. The fans standing completely behind Scott. Hey, same here. I don't want to see Damien win. Would only fuel him even more. Nice, Scott got to break the hold. That's it. Yep, there you go, Elvis. You didn't give up, he broke it. Best thing to do to with a sleeper old, unless you want to go La La Land, but I don't know many people who want to go that. Now right, here we go with the punches again, left and right. Seriously, with these two in the ring, you never know what you can expect. Oh, at least a big beatdown. Oh, DDT from Scott. Fans definitely happy about this, but what is Scott going to do here? Grabbing Damien's foot, dragging him out a bit more into the middle. DDT That's some punishment from Scott to Damien. Okay, Scott going top rope. I want to be careful there, buddy. I risk high reward if you can connect. Scott just waiting, taking his time. Oh, Scott wanting to go for a flying splash, but Damien just kicking himself up, taking Scott down. Mid air cutter. Damien going for a pin here. One, two. No, just a two count. Whew. Thank God. Yeah, that was definitely close, Annie. Damien's just waiting. He's just... 
stalking Scott right now. He's waiting for the perfect moment to strike. But then you have Scott countering a total wall backbreaker. Let me make a note of that. Not to give Scott too much open space. Yeah, yeah, has the back. <laughs> God, you crack me up, Solomon. Scott going for a pin here. One, two, no, oh, just a two count. Oh, the belt isn't on the line, Annie. I mean, j this is just a complete beat up between two brothers. Though you must admit, if Damian gets a victory here, he might get a title shot. Seeing he is already so pissed and gunning for a title. Oh, discus punch straight to the nose, and down goes Damian. Damien coming off the ropes. Inverted headlock backbreaker. There you go, Scott. That's it. Yep, Scott is showing why he's the champ. Hey, for me, it's a good study. Fly time, too. <laughs> Flying splash this time connects. Yeah, that's gonna hit the air out of Damien's lungs. Yep, this could be it. Finish him off, Scott. Take him out. Show him why you're the champ. Scott, you crack me up. Holy balls. <laughs> that's uh that's a really smart thing from some uh, from Scott there. Holy balls. Um no, it wasn't a pin any. It was a um it was a legal shot to the hoo-ha. That was like ding-dong to see if uh, if Damien was still a guy. But then head first. Oh! Marks the spot from Scott! Let's see if this is gonna be it. Is Scott gonna go for the pinfall here? No, he's not done yet. Well, in Damien's case, any yeah, I think he has a hoo-ha with the amount of bitching that he does. Oh, hoo -hoo, next day from Scott to Damien. Scott go for the pin here. One, two, and three. There you go. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner by pinfall, the Rated X, Scott Hex. Oh, Damien is gonna feel a sour in the morning for pulling that cheap shot. Well, uh, that shows Damien not to mess with his brother. Yeah, family dinner's gonna be awkward tonight.
There we go. Elf is handing Scott his title. Because he is still your APW No Limits Champion. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, we have seen some great matches today. We have seen some great action, but for now, I'm going to wish you all a, a great, great weekend. Make sure to be back here next week, same time, same spot, 2-4, with uh, some more non-stop action here at APW. For now... This is TJ Tyler, the one and only, signing out. And to my wonderful right, the ever cute and talented NEX Castle. Alright, thank you for coming out. I'll see you next week. Peace out, guys. This video was filmed on location by Zarakan Productions. Zarakan Productions is an umbrella group for many YouTube shows and businesses both inside and outside of Second Life. Please go to zarakan.com for a complete listing of shows and businesses associated with Zarakan Productions, and their own media links. Zarakan Productions shows have been organized alphabetically in playlists in a year, month, day format for easier video navigation. Multiple part videos have been named accordingly starting with part 1, and the last video of a multiple part video series will have end as a part of its title. Please like comment, and share this video as it helps both Zarakan Productions, and the creators of this video's content. Also, be sure to check the playlists for past episodes of show content, and subscribe to this channel for future videos. Thank you for watching, and happy wandering.